Hey guys, Kat here, and today we have a full body cardio strength and abs workout. Every exercise will be 50 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. Remember to go at your own pace, use the weights that are best for you. I'm going to be using 10 pound dumbbells today. And let's get warmed up. Rawr! Alright guys, let's warm up nice and easy, starting with those jumping jacks. Remember if this is too much, you can always just tap it out instead. That's really cool. Touch those hips, come back up. Good. Let's get warmed up. Let's we have the birds singing today. It's a good day. It's a good day. Woo. Let's go for three, two, one, and go ahead. Bounce it out. Butt fingers. I like to bring my hands back so I know by bringing my feet up high enough. Otherwise, sometimes I tend to slide off. Whatever. <laughs> Keep it going. Get that breath going. Remember, you can take the jump out if you want to and just walk it out instead. Okay, keep it up, guys. You got three, two, one, and feet up wide. We're gonna sink down for that side lunge, side to side. Push your butt back. Really think about placing that weight midfoot to heel. And the other leg stays straight. So just remember again, you really want to think about pushing your butt back, keeping your back nice and flat. One side might be tighter than the other. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's go. One more on each side. Sink down. Last one. And go ahead. Bounce it out. Let's get those arm circles going. Remember, it's really early. You're just waking up and you need to take that bounce out. And go ahead and just do arm circles. This is your workout. So, do what's best for you. And go ahead and bring it back. Woo! Bounce it, bounce it. Three, two, one. And go ahead, crisscross those arms. Really think about squeezing your back as you bring your arms back. Nice job, guys. Woo! We're gonna come down into a plank in three, two, one. Hands right under the shoulders. I'll face this way. What we're gonna do here is bring one foot. To the outside of a hand. And you just bounce it out here for a second. Warming up those hips, warming up those legs. And go ahead, bring it back and switch. Bounce it out. Remember this movement. We'll incorporate one close to this. And bring it back. This other side again. Let's go on the other leg one more time. Woo! And go ahead, bring it back into a plank. Come down to the knees. Shake it out. Now, from here, what we're going to do is warm up those wrists a little bit. So, have your hands, pew, fingertips facing forward. Lean forward a little bit, then bring it back. Lean forward a little bit, and bring it back. Nice little rocking motion, nothing too crazy. Remember, keep listening to your body, do what's best for your body. If this is too much pressure, you can always just do these. Keep your arms straight, though. All right, let's go ahead and switch. Have your fingertips facing towards you now. And you're just going to lean back instead of bouncing out. So just lean here. You should feel this right here in that forearm. And of course by that wrist. Woo! And go ahead, a few circles here. This is the uncomfortable one. So, <laughs> palms will be facing up. Now instead of bowing out like this, try to keep your arms straight as you can. And then bring it back. Sit back. If this just isn't for you, that's okay. You can do this again, like this instead, palm facing towards you. Just make sure to switch hands. Ooh, I love hearing the birds. All right, go ahead. A few arm or er, hand circles, wrist circles. All right, from here, what you're gonna do is go to one side, come to a plank position. We're gonna get ready for one of the movements we're doing today. So you're gonna drive your left knee in. You're gonna bring it over to the right side, bring your left hand over with you, tabletop turn, and do a full turn. Reset, let's do the other leg. So right knee in, bring it over, over. Remember, if this is too much for you, your modification, you're gonna drive your knee in and bring it back. Drive your knee in and bring it back. That's totally cool. Okay, so let's do one more on each side. I just want you guys to get used to this movement because we will be incorporating it today, but again, I don't want you to get discouraged. Woo! And go ahead. Jump up and bounce it out. All right, almost ready. Let's go with those back lunges. Alternate those legs. Again, 
Think about putting that weight midfoot to heel on that front leg. Keep your core strong. Some people don't think about how we gotta incorporate our core in uh, squats and lunges too. Sink down, bring it up, sink down. We're gonna do one more on each side. Last one, bounce it out. One more set, Jenna Jacks this time in the front. Oh, I'm feeling warm. Oh, I'm ready. I'm so ready. Woo. So ready that I just burnt. <laughs> Finish it up, guys. Let's go for five, four, three, two. Let's get started. Arr. Ten seconds, grab one dumbbell. From here, we're going to start out with a snatch. So, one dumbbell, same hand the whole time. What you're going to do is sink down, try to tap that ground, and we're going to bring the dumbbell straight up. Sink down, back is flat, explosive power. Bring it straight up. So we're trying not to stop right here. Sink it down. You want to squeeze your core and you also want to use those hips. So think about powering through with those legs. Touch it. Again, keep your back nice and flat. If you can't keep it flat, don't sink down as far. You don't have to touch the ground. Sink down as much as you can. Power. And bring it up. Woo! Now this is going to be the harder way if you bring your palm facing out. So if you want to make it a little bit easier, you can go ahead and have that um, palm facing towards you. It's going to be a little less jarring on that shoulder too. Something I learned from one of my CrossFit friends. <laughs> okay, so before we go to the other side, side slip and jump. You want to act like there's a bar running through here. Keep your core strong. We're going to slip under and hop. Slip underneath, hop. If this is too low impact, you can make it a tuck. If it's too high impact, you can just come up on the tippy toes. Sink it down, try to keep your back nice and flat. Do whatever version is best for you. You can mix it up once in a while. Now, especially if you jump, add that tuck jump. Make sure you land softly. You're a ninja, and we want to protect those joints. And up. Woo! Ha. Keep it going, guys. Sink it down. Oh, baby. Ho, ho, ho. Ha. Finish it out. Ha. Sink it down. Pop it up. Alright, so single arm snatch, other side. Alright. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. So, Sink down, hop, bring it back down. Make sure you keep your core strong. Power through with those legs. Back is nice and flat. Sink it. I know I'm going to get questioned on this. These pants are from Lululemon. <laughs> I'm not sponsored or anything, but I should be. But I know someone's going to be like, where'd you get those? And now, instead of answering, I'm going to be like, you gotta find it in the workout. So then they gotta do the workout. Oh, that's so mean. <laughs> Keep going. Huh. It's like a where's Waldo. Where are my pants from? <laughs> it has to have that pause. Woo! Keep going, guys. Almost there. After this, I grab both weights. So we're gonna work on those biceps. I know you guys love knowing my arm stuff. So you're gonna have one arm 90, the other arm is curling. So make sure your rolling shoulder blades back and down, traps aren't tight like this. So three curls, let's go the other side. One, two, three, and switch. I know that I told you to switch a little bit later, so if you need to even the arms out, go for it. Two, three, switch. So this is keeping time under tension on that bicep that is holding that static 90 degree hold. Make sure you squeeze those biceps. Try to keep it at 90 as much as possible. Whoops, up here. <laughs> One, two. All right, next up, cardio. So add on jumping jacks, burpee. We're only adding on to the jumping jacks. If you add on to the burpee, I'm not stopping you. So one jumping jack, one burpee, 
Don't forget to jump at the top. Two jumping jacks. One, two, one more. Eight. Three jumping jacks. If you want to add on to the burpee, I'm not going to stop you. Go for it. Four, two, three, four. Keep going at your own pace. Modify it if you need to. The hardest part about this movement is remembering how many reps you have left. Three, four, five, I think it's six. Woo. Keep it going, guys. Keep that core strong, especially as you jump back into that plank. You don't want your lower back to collapse. Okay. After this, let's go ahead. We're going to grab both weights. You don't have to. If it's too much for you, stay on the same leg. So bring your left leg and back for a curtsy. Sink down, come up, front kick. That's it. Make sure you stay on the same leg. Make sure your chest is facing forward. We're not turning like this for the curtsy. Otherwise we lose um, that tension for our glute. And everybody wants a nice booty. <laughs> Got that nice booty. Remember which leg you're doing, or you have uh, stabilized. Keep your core strong. Again, midfoot to heel is where you're putting that weight in that front leg. You should feel this in the right glute if you're bringing your left leg behind you. Okay, nice job, guys. Okay, so next up, side lunge with a back kick. So what you're going to do is, you're going to bring your right leg to the side, just like a warm up. Step to the side, push your butt back, come up, stabilize, back kick. Step to the side, push your butt back, come up, stabilize, back kick. If you need to, drop the weights down, drop one down. You can tap in the middle right here to get your, your balance, because some days your balance can be off. And that just happens. Make sure you're stabilized before you add the back kick. Woo. Keep your core strong. There it is. As you get tired, your balance gets a little wonky. So take your time. Step. Push your butt back. Come up. And kick. And back. Alright guys, so. Curtsy front kick, this time the other leg. Just balancing with the dumbbell on, no big deal. Alright, keep your chest facing forward, roll the shoulder blades back and down, curtsy, sink down, come up, and kick. Sink it, come up, and kick. If you find your heart rate coming up, and you're like, this isn't cardio, well, you're using your legs. And when you use your legs like this, adding this movement, it takes a lot for your body to deliver that oxygen to those working muscles. So, it's okay. <laughs> Sink down. Come up. You guys are doing great. I know it's a longer workout today, but it's going to go fast, man. It's going to go real fast. <sighs> up and kick. Finish it out. Core nice and strong. Come up. Kick. We're almost there. Oh, we're there. Okay, so next up, side lunge with that back kick. Other leg this time. Shaky, shaky. Okay, let's do it. So, push your butt back. Bring it up. Try not to kick anyone or anything behind you. And let's do it again. Kick and back. Push that booty back. Other leg stays straight. Remember, the dumbbells are optional, so you don't need to use them. But if you can, do it. Do it. Nice strong core. Kick. Ooh. Hey, my mom is from Hammermay. Hammermay. Okay. I film in my mom's garage. I don't have my own place yet. Yay. Eventually, one day. One day. All right, guys, so side jump, 10 high knees. So what you're going to do, jump to the side, and then do 10 high knees, and then you go to the other side. Okay, so jump to the side, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. jump to the side. Woo. Now, if this is too much for you, you can go ahead, step it, and do some marches. That's okay, too, okay? So do what's best for you. If you want a little bit higher intensity, go ahead. Add that top again. Ten. Drive it up. Keep it going, guys. 
body to the side of your hands again. So bring it over, jump, and then you go to the other side. Over, jump. So your right hand meets your left, or sorry, your left hand meets your right foot. And jump. Side to side. Now, if this is too much for you, no big deal. What I want you to do instead, come to a plank, you're gonna do little hops. Hop, hop. So this is gonna get you used to putting that weight on those um and on that body and on that shoulder. Well shoulders, I cannot talk at this one. <laughs> okay, I'm fine. All the way. Woo! And if that is too much, you can always just lift one foot at a time. Take out that impact. Alright, next up. Okay, down dog to lunge to standing slits. Come into a plank position. You're gonna push your hips up to the ceiling, press fingertips, palms on the ground, bring one knee in into a lunge. From here, you're gonna lift up your back leg, standing slits. Bring it down, down dog. Other leg, lunge, standing slits, and bring it back. Now, if this is too much for you, no big deal. What I want you to do is take a step in, bring it back, walk it up into standing. Okay, so that is always an option for you. And lift, bring it down, 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 knee up, lift. You should feel that nice stretch of your glutes. Press back. A little bit of mobility work. Oh yeah, I love that kind of flow. All right, back to strength, back to upper body. Grab your weights, bend your arms 90 degrees. From here, bent arm raises. Exhale up, inhale down. Working on those lateral delts, so those side shoulder muscles. Now, for this one, try to have your thumb above your pinky something I learned from Athlean X, Jeff Cavalier. He is awesome. So if you're ever wondering for like strength training, I know I don't do, um, I don't show my gym workouts when I go to the gym. I will start to in my vlogs, but um, he has a lot of awesome information on form and such. So Athlean X, if you guys are wondering, shout out up. Keep it going guys. Three, two, one. All right, nice drop. We'll have them down. From here, we are going to do, no, don't put it down. Sumo deadlifts. <laughs> Toes facing out. From here, bend the knees slightly, push your butt back. Push it back, push it back, push it back. Come up and squeeze your butt. Now, you want to make sure, bend the knees slightly, push your butt back like you're showing it off. This should feel like a stretch in those back legs. And you want to keep that back nice and flat. Push from the hips, push back, push back. Uh, and squeeze. Even with these 10 pounds, I still feel it because I'm pushing my butt back that far enough. I cannot express how important that is. Otherwise, you're going to just put tension on that lower back. You're not going to feel it in those hamstrings. No bueno. No bueno. We're going to have to feel it. Push that butt back. Keep it going, guys. Woo! Squeeze. Almost there. Oh, we are there. We are there now. All right. Now, next up, body weight movement. 10 squat pulses and a jump. So go ahead, keep your back nice and flat. Put your weight midfoot to heel again. One, two, three, hop. One, two, three, jump. If this is too high impact for you, one, two, three, come up onto the tippy toes. Work in those calves. Gain a little bit of elevation, a little bit of balance required. One, two. Three, hop. One, two, three, hop. Keep it going, guys. Push it back. Two, three, hop. You should really, really start to feel it in front of your legs in those quads. Hop. One, two, three, hop. Woo. One, two, three, hop. Finish it out. Last one. One, two, three, hop. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> that was so awkward. Okay, three skaters, three pole hops. Again, really working on balance. Here, step to the side, try to hover the back foot. Two, three, 
on that third one. One, two, three. One, two, three. Stabilize. One, two, three. I can't express how important it is to work on balance. If the pogo hops are too much, don't go ahead, tap it for a second in that back leg and lift up, lift up, tap it, lift up. Okay, that's gonna be your mod. You can also use a wall, find a wall. One, two, three. Fingertips real light on that wall. Three, two, three, keep it going. One, three. All right, so one dumbbell. Left hand stabilizing on the right leg, soft bend in that stabilizing leg. Single leg deadlift. Go ahead, bring it down. Back nice and flat, come up, switch. Other leg. Woo! Little switch over right there. Oh! Lost balance. Shaky, shaky. Okay. If the jump switch is too much, go ahead, tap it, walk it, and do the other leg. Remember, nice flat back, nice strong core, hinging from the hips, just like in those sumo deadlifts. Up. Woo. Working coordination, working balance. Working those hamstrings, working that core. Ooh, three, two, one. All right, so, ooh, I knew I would breath this. <laughs> three 180 squats with a heel tap. If you get dizzy from this, you're gonna squat jump in place. So sit down. One, two, three, and tap. Now notice how I'm working on depth. Rather than speed, two, three, and tap. And back is nice and flat. Two, and three, and tap. Sink it. Two, because like in my earlier videos, I tended not to sink as low. Woo. And you always learn from yourself, you know? I'm always growing, I'm always learning. Someone asked me today, they're like, wait, you're going to a PT session, aren't you a personal trainer yourself? I'm like, yeah, but there's so much to learn. There's so much. I don't know everything. They probably know like really cool stuff and they did. All right, plank in and out and roll. On the one side, if the roll isn't for you, take it out. Jump your feet in, jump it back. Tuck your right arm under. Roll, bring it up. Tuck in, back, left, come up. If this is too much, modification, step, step, come down to the knees, lay yourself down, push yourself up. You're taking the roll out, but you're still giving yourself that push at the top. Woo. And just think of being a kid. Just like being a kid. That's all. That's all it is. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Almost there. Up. In. Back. Okay. That one's done. Catch your breath. Try to kick back. Grab both weights. Keep your back flat. Core strong. Elbows up high. Kick it back. Neck is neutral. So you want to think about, it's not this. You're not bringing your full arm back like this. You're not swinging, no momentum here. Lean forward, back is flat, elbows up high. You're bringing it back, hinging at the elbow. So you're only bringing your forearm back. Shoot those here, triceps, which are the back of those arms. Exhale, push out. Triceps make up two thirds of your arms. So we want to make sure that we work those, make them nice and strong. Three, two, one. All right, 10 seconds, guys. We have three switch lunges with me up. I'm going to use a weight because I'm crazy. And so you don't have to, just, you know, come into a lunge. 
Midfoot to heels where you put that weight. One, two, three. You're gonna drive that back knee up, and that's it. Okay, so if this is too much for you, just like we did in the warm up, you're just gonna step back. One, two, three. Drive your knee up, see? And just start with the other leg the next time.
Now, if this isn't for you, knee up and kick, take the jump out. And then you switch. And if you still want to get that jump in, just reset every time. Knee up, kick, reset. Hmm, think about it. And kick, okay? That's totally cool. Remember, this is your workout. Just have fun with it. Keep your core strong. Pretend you are kicking someone. <laughs> Makes it way more fun. Finish that, guys. 10 seconds.
otherwise, or restart it, otherwise it shuts off when I'm recording. So that's why. Whew. Keep it up, guys. Stabilize. Left leg, this is awesome standing X. So make sure you exhale every time you bring your knees in and crunch. Slow it down if you can't get it down. I see a lot of people that go like this and they can't get it down. It's all about getting there mentally too. So sometimes you just gotta slow it down. It's like learning anything in school. Most of the time, it's hard to pick it up right away. So the last part of your move, guys. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we're done with our dumbbells. Put them off to the side. Go ahead and stabilize on the left leg. Okay, push. One side might be more challenging. Take your time, press up. Hello, birds. One of these times they're just gonna fly in here. Just like wreak havoc. God, it would be so funny. I hope I did it on camera. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Up. Uh, exhale up. Inhale down. Whew. Up. Then shout. Dead, dead blue is on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shaky, shaky. <laughs> Keep going. All the way. Okay, don't. We're done with that. Next up, we have, I don't know, what are we doing? Our own world X. Okay, so you're going to stabilize right here. Try to get your shoulders off the ground. You're going to go around the world. All right. Around the world. Ten times on one side. Ten times on the other. Hopefully we'll have enough time for both sides. I lost count. I think this is five or four. Whatever, keep going. Make sure you think about pressing your belly button into the floor. Now, if this is too much for you, no big deal. Bend the knees in. Try to do a little crunch here. You don't have to come up very high when you do those crunches. Let's go the other way. Um, whew. Keep going. Uh, yeah. You just want to think about pressing your belly button into the floor. I'm going to get my timer next time, and instead of 10 reps on each side, we're just going to go 25 seconds on each side. See, this is real time, baby. <laughs> I got to adjust sometimes to make it work, but... All right, I'm going to do my forms. Legs out straight as you can. Bring it around. Make circles. Again, think about pressing belly button into the floor. If this is too much, bend those knees. Try this out. Make these small circles then. The bigger the circles, the more challenging it's gonna be. Keep going one way. Uh, all right, and reverse. That core should be feeling it. We only have two more moves after this. So stay with me, guys. Really draw that circle. Woo! <laughs> We're almost to the cool down. Remember, you have a few options. After we work out, you can repeat the workout, skip the warm up. <laughs> Three, two, one. You can go to a different workout. You can watch one of my vlogs. Maybe give you some motivation for that. Um, or you can cool down with me. All right, so next up, reverse crunches, support your lower back, legs out straight, hop it up, and bring it down. Again, press belly button into the floor. So if you're in this position, I should be able to slip my hand underneath right here. If this is too much, Bend those knees, relax that head, and pop it up, and pop it up. That's cool too. All the way. Ooh, baby, my abs are on fire. Keep going. Use your breath. Ten seconds. Here we go. We got five, four, three, two, one. All right, last one, guys. Side to side punches. Might see jiu jitsu a little bit when they're like worming on the ground. You want to have legs at 90 to start out with. 
Twist your body to the sides so you're looking at me. Twist and crunch. And crunch. So you're bringing your knees in, bring your elbows in. Try to bring your elbows to that thigh. Woo. Keep going. Now the farther out you extend your legs in between, the more challenging it's gonna be. Come on guys, last move. We got it. Finish it. Oh baby. Oh baby. Uh, we are strong. We will not stop. Finish it. And I can't see the time. <laughs> okay, we're done. Done. Alright guys, so you know, oh, hello here. You guys know your options. Either stick to cool down with me, go to another workout, repeat this workout, skip the warm up. Uh, just make sure you cool down at that flexibility and mobility drills. Really, really important to keep you um, mobile for the life. For the life. <laughs> for life. Alright, guys, so thank you so much for joining me. If you are leaving, please do like the video before you go. You're staying with me. Let's cool down. Alright, guys, come on down to the ground. Go ahead, bring your right knee and your chest and pull. And breathe. You should feel us the front of this leg and those hip flexors. Ooh, a cool breeze is coming in right now. See, that's nice. And go ahead, bring that knee to the outside, opening up the hip. Hmm. And let's bring it back to center. We're going to cross it over, grab it with that left hand. Extend your right arm to the right, look over your right shoulder. So this is really awesome for the spine, for those glutes. <sighs> Go ahead, bring it back to center. We're going to switch. Go ahead, lock me in that chest and pull. I don't think I'm going to put music at the end of this video because the birds are singing. And that's really beautiful. Go ahead, bring that knee to the outside. Just remember how important it is to get outside. It will help your mental state so much. Go ahead, cross over the body. Stem left arm left of that left shoulder. There's this book I'm reading. It's like, compare a person that works in the city to a person that just worked outside as like a farmer. Like, most likely the mood will be more elevated as a person who worked outside. Connecting with the earth. Go ahead, bring it back and down. Let's roll over onto our stomachs. Hands back the chest. Press onto the knees, sit back, child's pose, relax your back. Press the palms to the ground, look over or look under that right armpit and really put more weight in that left palm. You should feel this on the left side of your body though. And let's go ahead and switch, other side. Now bring it back to center, walk it back. Roll the shoulders. Now if you can stay here in the hero's pose, go for it. If you need to come up, you can go for that. So what we're gonna do here? Ah, oh, I thought it was a spider. <laughs> I was like, well, I like spiders. So, All right, left arm across the body and pull. Look over that left shoulder. Breathing. Shake it out. Let's go to the other side. And go ahead, shake it out. Now we're gonna clasp our hands in back, like in your praying. You're going to bring it over to the left side, and I want you to pull your left elbow back. One, it makes you look jacked. <laughs> Two, it really stretches out the front of the shoulder and that chest, which again, a lot of people are tight in, so we want to make sure we stretch that for our posture. Go ahead and switch. With good posture comes good health, so make sure you get good posture. <laughs> That's my speech for today. Go ahead, shake it out. All right, from here, let's walk it forward and then curl the toes underneath. Push it up into a plank, shift your hips back, down dog. Let's pedal out those feet. 
So we get those calves, and let's stay on one side. Breathe here, go the other, breathe. And let's step your right leg forward, bring that uh, left knee down, and then uncurl that left foot. Breathe here. You should feel this in those inner thighs, unless you're super flexible. Let's go ahead, curl that left toe, those left toes. Bring it back into a plank, other side. Woo, drop that right knee down, uncurl those toes, breathe. Woo, you can shaky, shaky a little bit. This movement is yours. Go ahead and do what you want. And let's go ahead, curl that right toe, and then bring it up. Heel toe those feet a little bit closer, relax the neck. From here, bend the right knee, walk your hands over to the left, relax your neck. Let's go to the other side. Nice and easy. Bring it back to center, slowly roll it up. Four, three, two, and roll the shoulders. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can go ahead and support yourself on like a wall or a chair, something stable. Get those hip flexors one more time. Breathe here. And go ahead and switch. Ah! I'm losing balance. Ah! There you go. So good. And go ahead, shake it out, guys. All right, last one. Clasp those hands in front. Pull the shoulders up. Big inhale out. And exhale, spread, spread, spread. We are done for today. Yay! Thank you so much. We did it. You guys did it. We completed our crazy, awesome, full body cardio strength and abs workout. Thank you guys again so much for joining me. Please do like the video before you go. Helps me out so much. Don't forget to subscribe. I do a lot of craziness. And then I also have like awesome mental health vlogs and such like that. Uh, yeah, and if you guys haven't already it would mean the world to me if you did watch my video on rest days I feel that it's just so important to know this information about them and Yeah, it's really helped me along my journey I've never felt happier and better and my body has never been more functional and just like feeling awesome So I want the same for you guys So for that video I have a thing where you can click it at the end of this and if you haven't already go ahead comment below leave a RAR or what your favorite move was the comments help again so much and I want to know what you guys thought about this. All right, I will see you guys soon. Have an amazing rest of the day. Rawr.